I don't know his title, but I mean, he was uh, one of the principal uh, uh, individuals in the organization. Did uh, Mr. Bryant travel with you to Oklahoma City? I don't believe so. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he was there, but I don't know if he, I mean, he may have traveled with me. I don't want to okay. say one way or the other. Do you other. recall him traveling with you at any time? Uh, yeah, let, me just, let, me, let me just state, I've been listening to this for a while, waiting for something relevant to come out. Just objection on grounds of relevance. Continuing objection on grounds of relevance. Uh, I, I think he may have, I can't tell you when or where, but and again, I wouldn't want to say that he didn't. All right. Were you familiar with another organization in which Mr. Bryant was involved called Arm Response Group U.S. Argus? Yes. What was that? I, I know the name of it. Um, I think what uh, I understood that to be was uh, they wanted to uh, obtain, uh, use military equipment or uh, equipment that was going to be discarded and uh, try to use it for civilian purposes to assist civilian law enforcement. Was this a militia type organization, Your Honor? I don't know. I mean, I... Did you have any personal contact with it? Did you go to any Ar Argus no. meetings or meet any principals of Argus? No. Did Mr. Bryant ever talk to you about Argus? I'm sure he did. I mean, it was just, I, I remember the name. I, it might, I, may, I, I may have seen the name from stationary. That, that may have been pretty much probably the extent of my knowledge of it. This is on correspondence you received, Your Honor? Right. Do you recall what that correspondence was in no, nature No, just, it may have just been sending me notes about the Marshalls Foundation, or I, I don't even, you know, I, my recollection of that is hazy at best. Did, did Mr. Bryant have any offices or use any offices in the U.S. Marshals Service? <laughs> no, he, he would visit the Marshals Office, he didn't, or the Marshals Service, or he would visit my office, but he didn't have an office in, the, in headquarters if that's... How frequently would he visit? Uh, you know, uh, maybe a couple of times a month. See. And for what purpose would he visit you? Uh, I would say just primarily social. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of any legal difficulties that Mr. Bryant has had uh, since you left the Marshal Service? Only what uh, I read in the paper. Let me just object and move to strike this entire round of questioning, unless you can demonstrate for me, Mr. Costello, what is the relevance of these questions? Uh, the relevance goes to the fact that with all respect, while the director was the director, um, he had a close working relationship with a fellow who was maintaining an armed militia in Loudoun County, Virginia. Um, which would seem to go to, to what? Um, to his uh, underlying attitude towards a number of the issues in this case. Okay, all right. Well, and certainly I, towards I, the hostile again, environment. Again, I move to strike the entire line of questioning. I understand that. Is Did um, Mr. Bryant bring to your attention at any time alleged discrep discrepancies in um, the financing of the Marshalls Foundation? Yes. All right. What did he tell you? Uh, again, you're going back uh, a number of years, but uh, the Marshalls Foundation did have, uh, uh, they, they tried to raise money for, this is again, this is before I believe I even got on board, but uh, they tried to raise money for a Marshall Service Memorial and they had to, I guess they had to buy land or get somebody to uh, build a statue or, or whatever they did and uh, uh, those persons uh, provided those services and wanted to get paid and there was whoever engaged them didn't have the money to pay them and I think the people were upset about it and they wanted to uh, hold the marshal service accountable for it and I think uh, I think the marshal service position was that uh, it wasn't our responsibility I mean, that's a legal question. I don't, I mean, I wasn't. All right. Do you recall asking that an investigation be undertaken of this? Uh, I don't know if I, we had to, to the extent that they were claiming that the Marshal Service owed them money, I'm sure we had to do some sort of fact gathering to, 
to see if there was any liability on the part of the Marshal Service. But again, Your Honor, do you recall specifically what was done? No, I don't. Just a few more questions. Um, going back to the selection of Mr. Arp, um, we dis and we dis discussed your. Um, you, you said you were concerned that the 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 grading system was weighted too heavily in favor of headquarters people. That, that was right. one concern. All right. Why didn't that concern lead you to select somebody other than the person ranked at the top of that list, Mr. Confer? I don't know. I mean, I had no, I had no basis to, at that time, to question uh, that selection versus any other selection. I mean, if they had come along and said, pick number five on the list, I probably would have gone along with number five. I'm sorry, Your Honor, if, if they had said, if who had said to pick number five? If in discussions with other uh, of Marshal Service officials, you know, they had said pick somebody else other than number one, then, uh, you know, I probably would have done that. Did they, but did anybody else in the Marshal Service, did anybody in the Marshal, I'm sorry, did anybody in the Marshal Service suggest to you that you pick Mr. Confer? I'm sure they must have. I mean, how, how, there's really no other basis for me to have made the selection. Well, he was first on the list. That was the basis for selection, wasn't that? But he may have also been the best candidate, too, in their eyes. All right. Did, did anybody suggest that Mr. Fogg be, be selected? Not that I recall. All right. Did anybody suggest that Mr. Arp be selected? I doubt it. And I also mentioned to you a, a meeting. Do you, do you recall Wallace Roney? Does that name ring a bell? It does. I think so. And do you recall that he was the head of the of the of the Union of Deputy Marshals? I think so. Yeah. All right. Do you recall any meetings with Mr. Roney in the period of your directorship at which the the issue of uh, possible problems with black deputies came up? I don't think so. Uh, I think he may have met with uh, Gary Mead, and Gary may have reported to me uh, as to the to the result of that meeting. If I met with Mr. Roney and you know, if he says I did, I'm not going to deny right. it, but I, I, I don't recall. All right. Does the uh, name Gerald Elston, is that, is that, is that familiar, Your Honor? Uh, yeah. I think he was head of the EEO office. Right. Do you recall, you, again, do you recall a meeting with Mr. Elston and Mr. Roney and others? Uh, not with Mr. Roney. I, I'm, I'm sure I met with uh, Jerry. All right. Do you recall at any time during the period you were director meeting with anybody in the service to discuss uh, the specifics of any of Mr. Fogg's complaints. Uh, do I recall anything as we sit here today? No, but uh, I, I'm sure that uh, when his name came up for uh, selection that we would have discussed the merits of his selection. W would you have discussed his pending EEO complaints? Objection, I, 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 I can't tell you. I don't know. You don't recall? I don't recall. Uh, one final question, Your Honor. I apologize for this, but I have to ask it. What is the, uh, the status of the investigation that was being conducted by the Justice Department with respect to your involvement with Mr. Cauldron and Coastal Security Systems? Objection, lack of relevance, speculative, prejudicial. It was dead. Improper. Uh, you've been, uh, have you been advised, Your Honor, the investigation's over? Yeah, it's, it's been over for some Fine. time. Oh. One further, further question, Your Honor. Do you recall a Lydia Blakey? Yes, I do. All right. Did you know uh, Ms. Blakey before you went to the no. Marshal Service? No. Uh, but I did promote her, I think. All right. Um, do you recall what she was promoted? Not offhand. Okay. 
That's all. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Your Honor, I just have one. Uh, despite your, your earlier testimony that uh, you selected Mr. Arp based on your prior knowledge of him and prior relationship with him, um, Mr. Costello asked you about Mr. Arp's race. Let me refer you to Defendant's Exhibit Number 2. Your Honor, isn't it true that there were nine other whites on this list before Mr. Arp's name? Objection there, leading. There, there's no way for me to know that. I have no further questions. Okay. That's it. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay. Any